Hi friends, uh, today we are discussing about the topic Explanation Informatica project in interview. So how the project will do, what are the requirements we have and everything we decided we will discuss here. And also we will discuss from the starting uh, project to production environment with the errors. So please watch till, till the end. So if you got any doubts, please uh, comment in the comment box. So we are the developers, uh, example, uh, business requirements, a business wants to see the product, number of product sold and what is the percentage sold of the each product against the total sold. This is our requirement here. We do uh, what process we do, how we achieve this uh, our requirement, we'll see now. Business requirements from business relationship manager that is BRF this is called as required requirement phase this is called as requirement phase so BRM is nothing but business relationship manager committed with business people for project deliverable dates and cost of the project take example here he is committed like we will enable those projects means we are already discussed product number of products sold and percentage of uh, sold we will give by after three months means February 29th. So the business relationship manager will set up a meeting with the offshore team. So in that meeting your, uh, our PM and a programming manager uh, uh, etc will participate and ask for the project estimation. So project estimations done then we can send a mail to business relationship manager we need two more resources for this project so if he is okay with that so the then our project is start second phase that is requirement phase in that fsd means functional specification document so whatever the terms we are using we have to keep in mind so these terms we will tell in the interviews then only the interview will satisfy. FSD from business analyst. So our on-site analyst set up a meeting with business people with the help of business relationship manager and get the clarification from business people. Analyst did the analysis based on business required document requirement document so so already we seen the business requirement now so the analyst what to do here the he analysis based on the business requirement document which was provided by business people final analysis sheet fsd functional specification document will send to the application sme means subject matter expert we will send to the subject matter expert with the CC of development team. So we send the functional specification document to the application SME subject matter expert as well as development team. So now what a subject matter expert expert will do here review with SME and development team. So this is also belongs to requirement base development team need to ask any cl clarification required from analyst if subject matter expert and development team okay for that analysis then whole team will go the design model so everything is okay we go for the designing so here we are having logical design modeling in the modeling phase design modeler will design the tables with the help of inputs from team using tool that is called as Erwin Studio. We call this we call it call it as Erwin. After modeling completed, development team needs to validate those tables and send a confirmation mail to modeler. Then physical design modeling. So here modeling phase, this is this one also one of the physical modeling phase. 
here the modeler will release the design to physical modeling design they will create the tables as per design so in your de develop any dev environment so development environment that is database so in the development we are coming to the development environment so in the development phase and unit testing done here after creation of tables then we need to do the development for example product is coming from product table number of products coming from product sold table and percentage of product is the measure needs to calculate from product sold all table so modeler design the one table for all these three subject three objects we have to create three mapping for these three tables to bring the data in your database means after that based on data and fsd means functional specific document you need to get the data as you expected you need to load the data into one target table using three source tables one is product sold is number of products and this one so here you need to prepare technical specification document unit testing cases document and mapping design document your code review with subject matter expert so whenever we are doing these all things the as a developer we need to prepare technical specific specification document as well as unit testing cases document and mapping design document your code review with subject matter expert this can this type this kind of steps we have to take in the development process after development process move the code to qa environment which is called as testing phase after development complete business people will assign the qa team to do the testing we need to move the code using deployment tools to qa environment we have to explain all changes to qa team sign off from qa team after all errors rectifying call the business people to test then they will do the testing and give the sign off once sign off done we have to call business people please do the test in test environment so get the sign off from business people if business people is okay for that they will provide the sign off cross functional team reviews you need to explain the code changes to cross functional team if they have any impact finally move to production now the code is moving to production so after moving the production we will having in the production environment l1 l2 and l3 teams so how they work we'll see now so inform so here we are having in the production side customer success manager so if any error we get uh, issues bugs tasks will get depending on the priority we use the tool jira tool so there are uh, nearly six priorities are there so if there is any incident happened and any service request uh, needed from customer side any problem management is there so we use service now tool for raising incident and service request so for customer side any issues any issues will get based on the priorities we are having p0 and p1 the p0 is has to resolve within 4 hour, 4 hours p1 is within 2 days p2 is within 16 days p3 30 days p4 45 days p6 60 days 
whenever p0 and p1 has happened the bridges will be open and all should work and resolve the vp level will come to the to the issue and then resolve that issue so we do have l1 support team this is called as first point of contact so in this standard operating procedure is there and how the work is and how the small small issues there we are having we are also having known as a database kedb we will maintain a run book so if you if you have any errors we have to take steps to try age means we have to backtrack queries and we have to maintain a confluence page in the run book so if there is any infra infrastructure issues will come the l1 team do restart and any connection issues time out issues password expiry issues will take care of l1 support team so they they are having all code view they are having they they can view all the link and all the code in the l1 by the l1 support team so we do have l2 support team thus that is administrative administrator team so we are having a l3 support team so if there is any error sucker some companies will have directly l3 support team with only first point of contact one or two members will keep and if there is any errors will occur directly the developers will contact to the customer and they will analyze the all the uh, this sop kedb and run run book and everything so if the data issues will come they will rectify and uh, they will do design changes and uh, uh, dependents on the job failures so they will tar they will target the source uh, they will come from target to source and they will backtrack with the in the production uh, environment l3 support team will do so we are having uh, the issues uh, p0 p1 in the vp level and we do have a stay in farm channel to uh, rectify the problems and uh, rectify uh, to uh, resolve the issues that are the slack channel and uh, mail dl through mail dl so we do have root cause analysis for uh, where the problem is occurring and we do uh, backtrack with the lineage and linkage and everything so we do have a kappa means corrective and pre preventive actions so when that is error occurred how that resolved all the things will be maintained in the kappa so if any error occurs we do have pager so pager means it may be a call or mail notification or slack slack notification so we uh, the l1 team in the on call and they will acknowledge acknowledge and analysis and they will do resolution so in that uh, l1 uh, the design so the l3 support team developers they will do session log analyze the session log and they, in the production environment l1 can also Uh, have the reading access for session log in that we are having uh, how do you get uh, how do you know where the error occurs in the session log means by pressing e we go to the direct error error uh, thread that is may that may be a, we are having three kinds of, kinds of thread threads that are reader thread transformation thread and writer thread so by pressing e so we know and we can take the sql queries over there and we will execute in the uh, database level also we know how the error is getting and where error is getting so in that we are having the database has are we are having relational reader database and file reader so we are having writing thread the transformation errors also we do have so if we have any bottlenecks we occurred we go for the partitioning and we will go for the the best uh, way is the uh, is uh, any 
transformations and everything uh, will use uh, this kind of uh, threads will we, we have to use uh, reader thread transformation thread and writer thread so there we can rectify the issues so if we missing the SLA means service level agreement rules means uh, we are having some uh, uh, agreement rules uh, these kind of timings and these can be issues resolved in the in that particular time like that we are having if we miss so that can be uh, to the de development team so dependency job delay our jobs delay and performance tuning implementation session log partitioning pdo source target so if you do have we do have repeating issues we have to make design changes and we have to check any memory issues are there so for the problem ticket enhancement we have to do and validation methods also we do so daily we get approximately 1 million records to transformation so this is like we are having the structure we here source to target mapping sheet we are having with that mapping sheet we will import the data from source to target here we use a etl tool uh, we, we are having here bulk mode and normal mode. So, so if we get any errors in the uh, staging area, uh, so here means uh, so we are having uh, database constraint errors. We go with the normal mode. The data is more than we go. We use pre sessions and uh, pre SQL commands and post SQL or pre pre commands and post commands. Then we uh, drop the index and create the index here the staging area the staging area which is a truncate and load so here from the two here to here we take uh, uh, this is maybe a core or uh, this is the uh, we are having uh, environment support and this is QA like that we will have so uh, this kind of uh, hierarchies will maintain so here one uh, one session uh, one area to another area so if it is becomes here target now this is become source and if we this becomes target then it becomes source and then this is becomes to target and then it becomes source and then it becomes uh, target now we are having semantic views and from the data marts a uh, data marts to merchanting report these are all our etl transformations only so here we are we are going for the downstreaming process this is called uh, downstreaming tableau power bi quick view looker uh, quick site we are used for the merchant reporting thank you please subscribe and share for more videos please subscribe thank you